Hello, and welcome back to Dead Cells. It's, uh, been a couple days. Um, my apologies for that. Honest, honestly, apologies for that. Um, a lot has happened. Um, primarily my internet going down, which made this game literally impossible to play on, um, the console. Yeah. And I tried. I, I can honestly say that I tried. I tried uh, making a hotspot with my phone to um, make it work. We're going to try the curse sword. Um, that, for some reason, refused to work. The hotspot, it, it would connect, but it wouldn't stay connected. And I wouldn't realize that it had uh, not had a, the connection had fallen off so that would mean um, in the middle of making an episode it would be like yo you're not the one you don't have access you don't own this content how dare you it's like my brother in Christ I I bought this through the PlayStation Network I paid money for this and I bought all the DLC let me play my game uh, that is the future of uh, games that we own. Um, and since this is not, the console that I'm playing this on is the one that I have in my office, uh, is not technically my denoted uh, primary PlayStation uh, 5. It is also unable, I found out, un very unfortunately, that I can't even use it to play games I have on disc. Because it's like, we gotta make sure that you own this game. It's like, but it's, I'm using a disc to launch it. Why do I, it's like, this isn't a primary PS5. It's like, but it's a disc. Um, there may have been another issue for that. So maybe that is something that is not indicative of, you know, standard practice. And I certainly hope not. it isn't. But it was still kind of, like, insulting? In a way? Because, like, are you really... Sony, are you really doing this? But... That's now behind me that's now um we're past that and i now have a, a stable internet connection so what had happened is my isp had uh had emailed and i think i said this like um they had emailed is like yo we're we're doing stuff in your area so just to let you know, we're doing stuff on your area. And originally, they had planned that for October 3rd. So I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. I have I have the days off. I can I can do the live stream that I would, had planned originally on October 1st. Um, no, they moved, they moved their stuff ahead. And come October 1st, I found that I had a man standing in my backyard. And when I went out to uh, talk with him, the dude was like, yeah, you're you're one of the houses. You should have got an email. That email went to spam, um, which is annoying in its own right. Uh, it was like, yeah, you're you should have got an email about this saying that we needed access to your yard. Thank God I was home. I'm just saying, thank God I was home. Otherwise, I would have gone and been at work, and I would have got an angry fucking um, phone call from my ass. He's like. We contacted you, and you should have kept your dog inside, and you know, blah 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 blah. It's like, whatever. Didn't happen. It it was for the better. So I lost the entire day of October first due to um, internet connection problems. Then I can't remember if I tried streaming the day after that. Um, I think I did because when I. Um, tried to stream um i couldn't and turns out that what was happening is uh the work that they had been doing earlier in the day um ahead of schedule it's uh 
caused some issues with the uh, where my fiber connection comes in. And that unfortunately meant that I couldn't stream. I, I think the streams I had on October 2nd are maybe 20 minutes long. And after I started streaming, it just fell apart. It completely fell apart, which was not amazing feeling to say the least. You know, you're in the middle of streaming, you're like, oh yeah, we're gonna be streaming, we're gonna be doing some real fun stuff, play some spooky games a day late, but you know, hey, it's not a dollar short. Turns out I was a dollar short. Not literally, but it's like, it felt like, it felt that way. Um, and then, so that was the first time I attempted the stream. I tell everyone, hey, um, unfortunately, due to some complications out of my hands that I thought I had prepared for, turns out I, I didn't, um, I moved that big old spooky game stream back a week. And for that entire week of what I was doing stuff, I was uh, I was trying to stream, you know, get some things figured out, do some, um, get some notifications on, with like streamer bot and speaker bot up to snuff. Really, just get some things going well, and you know, try and add some production value to the stream. Um, and I th I think I did. Um, Unfortunately, my internet issues were not over because the day that I um, that I woke up and started to um, try to stream again, my internet was down. Um, and actually, when I had come home, the that would have been um, Tuesday. No, because I had Friday, Thursday, Wednesday off. So, the Monday that I had come out, um, or the Monday before the stream, I came home from work, and I did not have any internet whatsoever. I was like, okay, that's, well, well that, that's really unfortunate. Um, and that's where I ran into issues with dead cells and my, uh, Bellatro playthroughs because I needed the um, I needed the internet access to be able to play these games and I didn't have that so that was great fun fuck why do I keep using triangle as if that's the whip not the whip. Uh, so, because I didn't have any internet on that, um, starting on Monday, it was like, okay, that's, that's an issue. Um, I went to my router and reset it, and then the internet issue still was, um, not working. So, um, it was pretty late in the day. I was like, okay, fine, whatever, I'll, I'll deal with this. I'll deal with this tomorrow. Um, and just, what I thought was I'm going to lose one day of recording. Um, as y'all know, I did not, in fact, just lose one day of recording. Um, <laughs> on Tuesday, um, I went to work, came back, and my internet was still not fixed. I was like, okay, shit, well, it was already pretty late in the day when I, um, had that, so, damn it, um, I couldn't do anything about it other than, you know, just go to bed. 
Um, I woke up on the day of my stream hoping for some stupid reason that, like, miraculously it had been fixed. And what gave me hope to it being fixed is I actually got an email about um, required maintenance being done to from my ISP again in my area and that my service had been restored. And then I got a text message saying the same thing, followed by another text message not even a minute later saying that your expected maintenance window is this time to this time. And then five minutes after that text message, I got another text message saying that service had been restored to my area. Lies. Service has indeed not been restored to my area. Um, so I wake up the next day and <laughs> my internet is not there so i wait until um no i think i called my isp around like it would have been 8 a.m because i had slept in um and <laughs> you gotta love them they sent out a tech to in all fairness, they did send out a tech, and the guy that was that came out, he was he was real nice. He walked me through. He was like, "Yeah, this this is everything that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to basically made sure that there wasn't a break in the line going to my house." He was like, "Yeah, I he's doing his stuff. It's all fiber optics." He's like, "Yeah, I shine this light. It's still coming through." That told him that there wasn't a break in the line, so they didn't have to run a new line, thankfully. But, the line going into from my, um, to the house from the street didn't have anything. Didn't have any signal. So, he was like, okay, what the hell's going on there? Then he was like, hey, was there any, um, was there any work being done? And he told him, like, about the maintenance. He's like, okay, well, what might have happened is when those guys were doing their maintenance, maybe one of them brushed up against the fiber optic cable a little too hard or handled it in just a way that it broke. And I'm thinking like, ah, shit, so I've got a broken cable. Um, he did everything in that he could to confirm that because he was like, hey, if I, if I don't do this, um, the ISP is literally just going to tell, um, say that a tech, another tech, is going to have to come out. And the guy was exceptionally professional and did his job very, very well. Kudos to him. Really, really nice guy. Salty as goddamn earth is, are those people. Um, I'm just glad that it wasn't a typical day in Texas where it was you know, triple digits. It was actually, like, kind of, um, kind of nice weather. Um, you know, high 70s. It was very nice weather, actually, to be doing that stuff. Um, but by the time that he had finished, that was around, I want to say, 11 o'clock. And then he's like, he didn't have the equipment to do it, otherwise he's like, hey, he, he himself was saying, he's like, I wish I could help you out, but he doesn't have the equipment, so he's got to wait for, they have to send out another person to, or another team altogether to uh, fix the problem. I'm like, okay, well, not like I can do anything else, so, you know, it, it is what it is. And basically, I had to wait until that team was, um, that had come out. It, it's Kevin! Jesus Christ, you just yanked a cable. Go lay down. Lay in your bed. Thank you. You have a bed there for a reason to not 
walk through cables. Thank you. Oh. Was... You gotta love when you have a dog and you're playing video games and then that dog nearly rips the controller out of your hand and out of the console because they're just they're just walking through the room. They're, they don't see they're doing anything wrong, right? Not her fault. Not her fault. Um, yeah, the the team with the more sophisticated equipment finally uh, came out, and they started working. It actually didn't take them that long. It took them about four hours to uh, come out and start working. And then I, I went out and asked, like, hey, any ETA, any idea how long it's going to take? And the guy says, like, you know, first we really got to find where the break is, and that is kind of the hard part. Um, they have sophisticated equipment that can tell them exactly where, but they have to run it through, like, all of the lines, um, which is the tedious part and there's like 12 fi separate fiber optic cables running to my house um that supply the entire neighborhood so like we've got to do all of this and we got to make sure that it's if it's one broken cable or if it's all broken cables turns out um it was multiple <laughs> of course it would be multiple um but yeah it turned out it was multiple cables that had broken so they had to just start they couldn't they said it's like we're we can't prioritize specifically my cable despite anything I'm like unless i am like emergency services yeah um they had to give um fair amount and just fix all of the cables at um for how they're doing it so they said about um doing just that and by around 6 6 30 they finally um you know came by and said like hey everything should be fixed you should be back online no go lay down you don't walk through this room sorry um And I was able to start streaming. So that would have been the 12th, I believe. No. That would have been... Because today's the 12th. That would have been the 10th or 11th? What is today? I think that was the 10th. Because I had originally planned for... Yeah, I had originally planned to do the makeup stream on the the ninth, and it took them all day on the ninth to get through it. So then I um, well, I streamed both days. I streamed through the ninth um, into the tenth, and then after like. I want to say six or seven hours of streaming, I um, took a nap. And what I was hoping to be a about um, a four hour nap turned into about a nine hour nap. So I didn't get back to streaming. Um, I got back to streaming quite a bit later than I had originally hoped on the uh, ninth. But, eventually, the stream did continue, and, uh, I want to kill this squeaker. I want to kill the squeaker toy. This squeaker toy is the most annoying thing when I'm trying to record. I want to kill it, Kevin. Why can't you be like other dogs that kill squeakers? out of my head. Just gotta put it out of my head. Um, oh my god. I wonder if you guys can 
hear that as she's doing that right next to the frickin' chair where I'm sitting. Ah, oh, right. Um, so yeah, did, did the big stream. Um, I didn't record for a straight 24 hours. It wasn't that kind of marathon stream. And I ended up not getting a full 24 hours of recorded content. I And I kept track of this with a, um, a live split timer. Um, originally, I was thinking, like, yeah, I'm going to have the live split timer be the time of the um, the stream. Shit. I, I fucked this up. Of how long I've been live and stuff. Um, shit. Shit. But in, um, instead, actually, I made the line split timer um, represent how many hour, how much time I had um, in recorded the individual games. And between swapping the games, I would you know pause the timer and um, go about that way. Um, yeah, I go through this way. So, I do know that I have 17 and a half hours of recorded, clean footage of LPs to edit, of games to edit down into LPs. Um, I played through, um, or I, I, didn't, I didn't finish, I think I finished one game, and that was Crow Country, but we touched... Fuck, fuck. Oh my god. Um, we touched Crow Country, which is a phenomenal game. That entire LP is um, edited and is now live on the channel. It'll be doling out um, over the next few days. Hope you guys enjoy that. Um, I went and got starting with... Uh, the Dead Space remake from 2023, 2024, whenever that remake came out. Um, started doing that, and that's been a great little bit to, you know, go back. Um, I even started the Callisto Protocol. I'm not sure if that is a game that I want to be going back and trying to do a full LP of, but... I'll keep my options open with that. Um, I'm definitely going to try and edit the... I think I've got like an hour and a half of Callisto Protocol recorded. So I'd be open to doing at least one more session and seeing if it really grabbed me. Um, I said on the stream... Um, where, the, where the fuck is this... So, um, he's right here. While I was playing the Callisto Protocol, um, a chatter was in he the, in the room and or in on the stream, and we got to talking about it. And I really just kind of nailed it down. It was like the Callisto Protocol feels really good. Like, don't get me wrong, it it feels like it should be. An amazing game but it just it feels like the game with a lot of potential but it doesn't really ever get that potential it like the way it controls it doesn't I don't think it controls particularly well um, it doesn't control bad like there's there's nothing during my time with the Callisto Protocol that I think I could ever say is genuinely bad. Um, it just feels like a game that has a lot of potential that is unfortunately just going untapped. If that makes sense. And I think the, the worst thing of about it is if it was a worse game I think it would have done better 
than it did because it would give more things for people to talk about. And, but it's just, it's, it's competent. It just doesn't feel, it, it didn't feel amazing. It, there was nothing in the Callisto Protocol that made me think like, this is what's capturing my attention. This thing right here, that never came. So it was, it was just kind of a giant mark against it, which is really unfortunate because I could see where that game would probably feel really, really nice. And it just never quite got there at all. So, um, what else did we end up playing? We, oh boy, uh, Forbidden Siren. This is an old PS, Siren Blood Curse. I always remember Siren Blood Curse as a, um, game from like the PS3, right? Um, just kind of not not even classic horror, but you know, like just one of those horror games that's like, oh, this game is one of the scariest games that you'll ever play. And it's like it is it it nails the atmosphere kind of like a Silent Hill. I think it nails a better atmosphere than um, Resident Evil. Why do I have more orbs? Why is my electrodynamics like, oh, uh, orb maximum becomes five. That's awesome. Oh my god. I know I'm gonna have no mercy on, so he's not even going to. He didn't even die early. I am not doing fantastic on the health. Um, I didn't even realize that this legendary. Um, one here is doing a lot of work. Um, I'm not going slumbering sanctuary. I'm going to go to the graveyard and we're going to go fight the giant. I am debating if I want to, if I fight the giant, if I go and um, skip the, skip the castle. And I think it's unwise for me to skip the castle. I think it's better for me to actually go through High Peak Castle because I think that's how you end up actually getting more um, more upgrades, more scrolls, and you have the potential of finding even better loot. Now, granted, I'm going through the great. Uh, I'm going through um, the the giant, so I'm already going to be getting better loot that way through his domain. So maybe I don't really need to care about the better loot in High Beat Castle, but I think it's best to play it. I, so I'm, that's what I'm gonna try this time. Is Play through Hypey Castle.
also trying not to use my um my health drink there because I want to try and uh get more health drinks for the final boss. So I guess I need to be focusing on more health. And see if I can't find any secrets for um, for the chance of getting food from them. Where is this lead? Oh, that leads to that. You know what? I have a... Oh, I got a blueprint. I had to use the... My health item. I really didn't want to, but... For doing what I did there... Yeah, I had to. Because I... I want to get this blueprint. I'm now at the point in the Dead Cells run where I am trying to laser focus in. Are you going to be a mimic? I'm not going to take the chance of him being a mimic. Maybe if I get um, full health and the money I go back and I um, try and buy the extra health flask All right, I think that's everything I want to go and see so we're now going to go to the cavern and just start the cavern early If anyone in the comments knows, what are those white lily flowers for? What secret do those hold? Knocks back enemies and bombs. Any object can become a deadly weapon if it's moving fast enough. So that's from Shovel Knight. That's just straight up from Shovel Knight, right? Okay. We're not going to get rid of the flint, but that's now in the rotation, so that's cool, I guess. I don't feel I need to reforge anything. We're going to try and keep onto this health class chart as long as possible, and if not, grow that those charges. Um, but yeah, the, the, so trying to stay on track, um, the games that we did that I ended up, um, touching 
during the stream, um, one of them was the uh, PS2 um, game Siren, and oh my god, what, that was probably the hardest I laughed during the um, during the stream. That was such a good time. Um, I I don't think I'd be able to play it because that is a fucking hard game. But that was just what was happening in that game was absolutely just side splitting hilarious. Night one, so this would have been the the ninth. Um, I, after most of the audience had left, um, we went, or I went and um, played a little bit of Doki Doki um, Literature Club. Um, I know the twists behind Doki Doki. Um, I don't. I haven't ever played it myself, but I've seen plenty of. YouTubers and everyone's reactions to that stuff. Um, I think the full playthrough that I watched was the Game Grumps one. Um, so yeah, I, I know the whole thing behind Monica and the, the fucked up stuff that happens to the girls. And for some reason, I guess I thought that kicked off a lot faster than it did, but I was there for like an hour, I want to say, an hour and a half, and I was still just going through common speech bubbles. It was like, when does this game make its turn? And it it never made the turn, so I'm, I've got like an hour and a half of footage of Doki Doki Literature Club, and... I don't really have much, I'll be honest, I don't really have much of a desire to um, play it. Fuck. Can I use the health? Um, maybe I'll try it again on stream. Um, but yeah, I just. I actually had hopes for making um, Doki Doki into into um, a video. I think it would be, I think it does make a good video, but I think I need um, a co-host for Doki Doki to really hit it. Because it's one of those games where the concepts that they're um, talking about, I think I need someone to help help me play off some things. Um, Come on, something good, something good. Ah, the nail. Oh! I think I take the nail. I think I take the nail. No, I don't take the nail. I should have taken either the shovel or the the upgrade flint. I probably should have taken the upgrade flint. And it wouldn't it was wouldn't even be that better good of an upgrade because it would have been less power than mine, but as soon as I got it to rank S, then it would have really shown uh, shine. Bird. 
swords and everything. You know, I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, make the... <laughs> there it is. Oh, I got to get back into the swing of dead cells. Um, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button and subscribe to the channel um, for more content. Um, yeah. Uh, I made a post um, today when I re recorded this, but this isn't going to go live for a couple of days. Um, I want to give myself a couple of episodes for um, just cushion. Um, but I'm waiting until I get my work schedule for the first full week of November because that is when I am going to be doing the season three wheel spin for the next games because Dead Cells and Bellatro are going to be coming to a close. Um, I got, I don't have major things planned for November, but I'm hoping to get in touch a lot more LPs. I've got some ideas of how to get different hosts to call in and not have not need hosts to be in the same house with me to record um but i gotta make sure that discord stuff actually plays nicely um yeah so um hope you guys enjoy the lps that are going to be coming that are going live on the channel right now um and that said I well, think you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.